Hi! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at this. I just got these two books in the mail today. Oh my gosh, I got this one here. This one says a third tail. And then this one... I don't know, this might be here first, so I'm just going to put one away. I'm just so excited. So, <laughs> let's get, you want to flip through with me. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Alright, it's got a little flap here. What's in here? here? Nothing but what's in here? Oh, we got this kind of like, um, it's actually the paper's really thick, so it's pretty cool. Okay, oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait to look at, look at, I'm looking at this for the very first time. What does this say? Oh, look. See, she's writing stuff. She's making this personal look. When I was a child, I loved to fantasize about an imaginary land, along with many cute animals and abundant plants. It had a magnificent castle where a princess lived, and a forest where a witch dwelled. There's always a wicked witch, right? People lived a truly pleasant life there. In order to imagine such things, I used to gaze at a picture I drew that replicated the fictional world. Wow, look at that. This book is packed with images of that fantasy land of mine, which I named Cocot. Cocot? Hmm, I don't know about the word, but that is what she called it. Cocot, okay, whatever. Um, I'm not judging, I'm just saying, I don't know. Anyway, colored pencils, rollerball pens, colored inks, watercolors. Choose your favorite coloring material and using a variety of hues, enjoying adding color to your land. Have fun creating your own special romantic country. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay, so she goes on. And before you begin, let me briefly explain the lines that make up the images in this book. Okay, this seems kind of important. We should read this. All of the images in this book were drawn with a toothpick. What? A toothpick. It was about eight years ago that I purchased ink for the first time, but I had carelessly forgotten to buy a dip pen. This incident originally got me started using a toothpick for drawing. Okay, I am seriously tripping out right now. So all this is drawn with a toothpick? Wow. It says, compared to a regular pen, I found that drawing with the toothpick brought about different degrees of thickness in my lines and enabled me to draw more warmly and tastefully. Since then, the toothpick has become my favorite drawing tool. What the heck? This is drawn with a toothpick? I didn't even have any idea. Look, I'm reading this the first time you are. I used approximately 700 toothpicks to draw the images in this book. In order to create your own original story while coloring, feel free to follow your imagination and write a story or add lines with your own toothpick. Eh, ah, I don't think I'll use a toothpick, but I do have these. These are my uh, little micro pens, so maybe if that's what we got to do through this book, we'll grab some black pens. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm reading this for the first time. Um, okay, I used approximately 700 toothpicks. Okay, so now here. Um, in order to create your own original story, feel free to follow your imagination and write a story and add lines with your own toothpick. Uh, in this way, you'll be able to create your own one-of-a-kind picture book. I hope you thoroughly enjoy coloring. Now, let's have fun early. Wow. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is really cool. Now, she's got a story about about croquet, crocot. God, I wish she was here to explain this to me. But apparently she has, look, it says somewhere in the world there's a small country that doesn't even exist on maps. Okay, so she created her own little world. And then over here it says um, that there's a Polaris clock tower. It's a cherished building. So apparently, look, she made... How cool is this? Do you just want to die or what? Look at this. She made a map in her head. Now, this is a true artist. 
she made this little map in her head of her own little world in her own imagination of her own little town. Wow. That, I'm sorry, but is so freaking cool. Okay, so, so now she gives us a little detailed map. See, this is a true artist. I mean, I, I dream of this crap too in my head, but I don't write it down. The South, oh my God, look. She's got the whole thing laid out. She's got the south. She's got a boat here. She's got um, some alley, the clock tower. Um, wow, this is a whole adventure. Oh, my God, I'm just loving this book. Look at this. Ooh, what do we got here? Let's go out wider. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, so we got a tower. Now, the thing is, if you look here, it's really blank. Like, so, in order to make this happen, like, I would probably have to add, um, maybe, I'm not going to do it right now for real, real, but I would probably, um, put in, you know what I mean? See how I'm putting in a little bit of stones? Like that. Now, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just saying... I think that this book, um, uh, Intel C, I just put in, I just simply for one second just took my pencil and I was thinking that this may need some extra little stones, which look, it took me one minute to put in, but imagine if we really, if I really wanted to do this picture, I would take some, um, some grays and some blues in here and shade all this in and then uh to make like a stone building here i'm just saying uh it's a little bit of a potential okay so there's a lot of things we can do with this book oh my gosh look at this oh wow this is so cool do i get sighted too easy look at this we've got breads and how fun look at that oh you know what i would do in here i'm not gonna do it now but this i would make this look kind of at night and i would put some um a uh, yellows and reds back here to make it look like fire so that it's on at night time and then i would put you know like for me anyway i would do it with the yellows and reds with our, my fire colors so that it looks like it's at night and you're looking at, oh, this would be so fun. You guys got to follow me because I know I'm going to do some of these. Then we got some clock. Man, this book. Is oh, look at this tea shop. <laughs> I get sighted. It's so easy. Look at this side. How cute is this book? Oh, my God. To die. Seriously. All right. These kind of things um, have never been my favorite. Um, it's just me, but like if you wanted to just practice on how to do one thing, you know, you want to practice, yeah, that would be kind of fun. But like those have never really been my thing. This is cute. Where you? Oh, now see, look, you have the step. Now see what you would do on this picture. You'd have to shade on both sides, so it looks like you're walking up the steps. You've got the pretty, pretty little hanging. You can make these socks really pretty. This is cute. This one, see, is cute. Like this for me, it's just not my deal. But it's good you could practice all the little cute things. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at how cute this is. You got a bowl of fruit. You got a little kitty. Oh man, you can make the water so pretty right here. This, that's a keeper. Look at how cute. All right, you got to get this book. You gotta get this book. This book is too cute. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. See, now that's the thing. I get a book like this and I just want to color all the pictures. You know what this reminds me of? I went to um, a place called the Riverside in Laughlin. And it's a casino in Laughlin. And they made it look like the... Um, I don't know, she was a famous actress. And they had the room all with red velvet, a purple chair... Uh, like purple, um, I can imagine it look like that. You could put blue, nice blue out here to look out the window. 
Oh man, yeah, your colors have. This is a see. Your mind can just go rampant. What else? Oh, oh, it's a little dinner feast. Oh look, the little girl seeing a little princess eating with her little friend. Oh, this book is too cute. All right, these are more, looks like the little practice pages, which e in each one of them self, like if you're sitting at a doctor's office and you have nothing to do, you could just take this cute little one and just just do something in just this little piece right here. Just Even if you just took time and did just one, or you could take this little doggy or the little kitty so that you don't have to do a whole entire picture. You can just do... You know, one little, um, one, just this. Wow. Oh my god, look at this! Ugh, she's sitting in her little bed, like daydreaming. And she's got her little kitty. Look at the little kitty. She got a little kitty, and then she's dreaming. She's got a little bear. Back in here is a magic mirror. You know what you could almost do? You could draw something back there to make it look like it's appearing. That would be a lot of work, but I don't know. I'm just saying. I think of things like that. Just kill it. Oh, wow. This is like, um, oh, it's the whole thing. Wow, this is such a great book. Look at this one. Now, see, what's weird is that, like, I mean, I like this, but when you want to print it out, what do you do with both pictures? So you have to take one piece out, right, and then the other piece out, and you put it in two frames next to each other. So you can make a, or just keep it in your book, and then when people come to visit, they can just look and browse through all of these beautiful, if they were colored in. Oh, man. All right, we got cute little outfits. This is seriously, all right, the cutest book. And there's a lot, I'm only halfway through. I'm gonna go through it kind of fast, just so you can see. Because if you're gonna spend money on a book, you wanna be able, oh, look at this. Look at that one. This right here would be a whole video on this girl swinging. But I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to... I really don't know what I'm going to color. Oh, doesn't that remind you of... I don't know. I'm Italian family. I can imagine my grandpa sitting outside by the castle. He's playing the accordion. That's really nice. What is this sweet picture? Um, a town where general people live. Okay. We got some oatmeal flour. Ooh, oh, it's like a general store. Oh, this is cute. Look at that one. Now, this would be, it could be a lot of work because you have to put in the, but you know, I, what I like about it is that she leaves enough room for us to put in our own stuff. You know, you could put in, like, if you want a middle and some flour in the middle in here. I'm just saying, look. Just for an example. So let's say, like, we wanted to put in maybe, you want a flower in there, right? So you can, it just gives a little bit of room. I'm going to erase it because I'm not sure how I'm going to feel that day. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's the thing about when she leaves your room. Like in here, if you want, remember how in the other picture I did where I did a black and white checker? I can make this with this pen and make like black and white checkers here um, to give it a little bit of feel. I can go like make some triangles in here, whatever. It gives you a little bit of room, a playroom, to add your own improvs or, you know, your own little wow all right so i would say all in all yes this is totally worth the money to buy this book but i'm just let me go through here a little bit quick just so you can see wow oh boy there's so much in here 
Wow, she really put a lot of love into this book. Oh, gee, look at that, like a palace. Oh, what's this? Chapter one. This says, Hill and Town Overlooking the Clock Tower. So look, she made a little, oh, look, she says here, this is the castle of Dr. Lorenzo. So she has her own little world here. And she kind of explains. Oh, she explains. Look, inside the... This is all in her head. This is the tower. This is... Look, she says here, this is the liveliest street in the land. On weekends, it's open and crowded with shoppers. So she made a little place here for... Oh, this is... Seriously. This is all in her head. And it's beautiful. Look, before going to sleep. So she's got like... I'm just trying to get it so you could see. So if you're going to buy this book. Look, this book, which children read before going to sleep, contains a story about a beautiful princess and some fairies. Surely it must produce happy dreams. Look, just color in. Just take your time and color in. Even this one picture. Look, here's tea time. Oh, I love that. Look at the tea time. Let's get up. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's really small, though, because, look, when you back out, it's small. But, look, it's all on this page. There's a lot to read in here. You want to take this book anywhere? This book is beautiful. Yep. Wow. Okay. I'm giving it a 5 plus. And I'm not easy because I'm kind of picky, but this is a really beautiful book. And the pay what's back here? Oh my gosh. Hold on. There's something back here. What is this? I don't know what this is. I don't even know how it opened. Hold on. There's something back here. I don't know what this is. Seriously, I how do I even I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> I seriously, I don't know what to do here. Um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna pop up the top. Okay, it open here. Oh, look at it. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, look at it. It opened up. So this piece folded out and it opens into this okay all right let's i can't even open it wide enough but this folds down too it has all of this in here wow that is i don't even know hold on I'll hit this. so it's just actually mm, okay i'm not gonna give it a giant thumbs up because it's just some trees. I mean, if this would have opened up into a really awesome picture, I'd probably give it a little bit higher of a rating and close it up. All right. So, well, okay. Look, I'm an honest person, and I'm not going to give you any foo-foo. No one's paying me to do this, but... Okay, I open it up, and inside here, um, like Johanna Basford's book, it opens up into a giant dragon. This is, to me... I don't know. You just got some trees. And, uh, okay, this kind of to me was a little bit of an epic fail. But that doesn't mean that this whole book is. So don't get me wrong because the rest of this is amazing. This, like, get, oh, come on. I'm going to color this in for sure. And we're going to do this with some purples and some vibrant. So all of this is great. So... I am giving this an epic fail because I think that this is cheesy and there's really nothing really to color in here. I don't know. No, this could have been, if this had been a really beautiful fold out picture of color, that would have been the ticket. But anyway, I just say it as it is. But the rest of this book, for sure yes. Oh my gosh, for sure yes. 
So, um, I'm going to color in that one. Now, I have another one. Remember? I got, I got two in the mail. I want, I'm just going to go straight to the back to see if this one has one of those things. No. I just wanted to go straight to the back to see. There's nothing in the back here. Oh, but this has got some, um, oh, how to play. So this has some stuff in here like, uh, what does it say? How to assemble, how to enjoy the attached interactive 3D coloring cards, making your own pop-ups. Ooh. One set of cards allows you to create a pop-up store. Boldly cut the set of cards out to enjoy coloring them. However, you okay, so apparently you can make a pop-up um, book out of here. All right, so she's making a nice. This is an interactive book. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. All right, so you know what? We have to love these books. We do. I do. Look at this. Okay, this is a nice card stock. Alright. I fold it back so that way if I want to draw in it, I can nicely draw. If you push down the sides with your thumb, it'll open up and you'll have a nice sort of lay flat. Okay, so now she reads her little story, which is apparently her. Oh, look, this has this says here, um, the main characters. So this is something like that you can actually I don't know lay in bed. Oh, it's the same. Look, the same. So this is in her head. She has her own little line. This is something that you can lay in bed and actually read. It's like a it's like you're making your own little illustrated children's book. Look at this one. She's mailing a letter to Santa Claus. Love letters. Ooh, a nutcracker. Oh my gosh, can you imagine doing this in some reds and some purples? Nutcrackers are the best. Oh my gosh, there's another one. You gotta remember, I never opened this book before in my life. I love this. I would do this in some deep, rich, royal purple, uh, some blues and lavender, some pinks, hot pinks, reds, deep reds. Wow. Okay. I totally want to do this one. Oh my gosh. Look, we got lemons, some grapes, got all these little fruits in here. Okay. Definitely. This is a great book. Wow, look at here. A little sunroom. Can you imagine we can do this couch? I don't know, even know what color. Maybe, um, if you do a, a greenish yellow, greenish yellow color, with some blues, lavender, some turquoises. All right, another keeper. Okay, I'm loving this artist. I haven't colored in not even one of these books yet. I just wanted to go through it with you. What's that? Oh, wow, look at this. It's like a peacock, only it's with forks and spoons. Hmm. I don't know how I'd call it that, but I sure do love teapots. Look at the teacups. Wow. Hmm, okay. I am already thinking of how I'm going to color these in. Trying to get as wide as I can for you, but oh, carousel horses. So, if I would say if you should buy this book, well, you know, it just depends on what your style of coloring is, you know. Like, but how about if I color one for you and you might want to color along? I wouldn't say, I mean, I would want to do every single one of these. But it's like any book. I mean, in any book that I look at, I don't want to color every single page. Not every single page appeals to me. Oh, but the ones that do this, see, I like this one. 
make this look look at like a stained glass in my back. This would be really pretty. Much. Um, it just depends on your styling color and what you want to color in. Look at all these are pretty perfume bottles. That one's kind of cute. Boy in a dress. What I like is this stuff. Look at that. I mean, just if you want to sit at night and just kind of just read the stories. The Old Town. Many historic buildings still stand in the Old Town. See, this. she really has like her own little mind. So I could see that if you get enthralled into this book, you're going to get enthralled. Look, Tom's Ice Cream Cart. What I love about, look at this. When Summer arrives at Tom's ice cream cart, it arrives in town as from nowhere. When we hear the cheery music, we should go out and look for the ice cream cart. And then there's the cart here. So you can color in the cart and just kind of feel. She creates a picture. Birthday party. Today is Sean's fifth birthday. Time flies, doesn't it? Sean was still a baby not so long ago. Of course, Joseph was invited by his garden birthday party. Or to his garden birthday party. So you got this little... You see, so she's really got a nice mind. Oh, now here, look. Here we got this how to play. There are three pictures that render the inside of the store. Color these pictures and then assemble them to create a pop-up. Be sure to enjoy the mock three-dimensional feel. So apparently you can, uh, I guess, I don't know where it is in this book, but I know it wouldn't be from this page, but one set of cards allows you to create a pop-up store. Boldly cut the set of cards out and enjoy them. So what, are they in here somewhere? I don't know, I don't see him in here, but... Oh, oh, oh! Here, I guess. I don't know. But either way, they're in the back. There's some stuff back here. This is a really cool, really cute book. Yeah, they've got, um... I don't know, it looks like folds or cuts. Oh, yeah, see? Look. See, the method for assembling these interactive 3D coloring cards is explained at the end of this book. Please refer to the designated page to assemble. Right, so, I don't know. We'd have to go through this to figure out how to do it, but. Either way, for what, the 10 bucks or whatever? Yes, this. This would be really, uh, yes, I would say I really like it. I'll pick one and I'll color it, okay? But this is so cute. So I got these two in the mail today. Um, there's nothing I just can't say about when you get a new book in the mail and the feeling when you're holding your new book and I don't know. It just makes you just really happy like you want to open it up and you want to start getting out your your colored pencils and you want to just see grab your pick these are only the ones that i use for my these are my main palette my main palette that i use um and i have all the other ones in my main prismacolor book but i usually only use pretty much these few. You know, I've got my pinks, my yellows, my greens, my blues, and those are my palettes. If I want to choose something else, then I'll go to the Prismacolor box, but usually I just draw out of one thing, and then as I'm coloring, I will take this box and say okay so like for instance let's say I was doing this picture right and I would be using a blue or a yellow all right whatever color I pick out of my box I'd put in here because that starts to create my palette so I would have whatever I use whether it be purple green yellow orange 
whatever. And then they'd be out in this box and be separate from the other box that has all my colors. And then if I want to draw another color, I will draw it from the palette that I've created. So anyways, I'm going off like I usually do on my tangent. So, um, thank you for watching. This is my little diamond. It's pretty, right? So, uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Let's, um, get ready and we're going to do another picture. So, um, thanks for hanging out with me. Like and subscribe because we never know what I'm going to do next. So, I know, right? Pretty to look at. Oh, wow, that looks kind of cool. So, um, I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. And thanks for coloring with me and liking and subscribing to my videos. You know what I should do? Buy an extra one of these and then have a contest. And then you post your picture up. And then randomly... I'll just make you a winner and then I'll mail you one. Wouldn't that be fun? See, that's the thing. Follow me on my uh, Facebook page and we'll do a bunch of live cool stuff. Okay, well, love you. I will see you. I will see you later. Okay? On the next video. Bye-bye for now.